Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to reconcile in Xero business funds that you transfer to a personal bank account. Now I use the Australian version of Xero's demo company in this video, but the principle is pretty similar all around the world. So you can get value out of this video, no matter which version of Xero you're using. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can reconcile or account for business funds that you withdraw for personal use. So this is going to be money that's transferred from a business bank account and into a personal bank account. And you can do this in Xero with either a director's loan account or the owner drawings account. And the one that you use will depend on the type of business that you run. So for a company, you would most likely use the director's loan account. And for any other kind of business, such as a partnership or sole tradership, you would most likely use the owner drawings account. Okay, so the overall goal here is to have the business bank account showing the credit on the balance sheet and the owner drawings account showing the debit on the balance sheet. So we'll take a look at that at the end of the video. And just a couple of things before we start, you do want your business bank account to be hooked up to zero and to be receiving the transactions either automatically or with manual uploads, but you don't want the personal bank account to be hooked up to zero uh, that the money is going to go to because it's a personal account and it shouldn't be hooked up to zero anyway for your business. Okay, so let's go into zero now and we'll see how this is done. Okay, so over here in the Australian version of the demo company, what we'll do is we'll go into the business bank account reconciliation. Okay, so we're just on the reconcile tab here. And what we need to do is we need to go to this side here, which is the bank statement line. So this is where um, the um, bank transactions will feed into zero. And we need to find one that looks like it would be the owner just withdrawing money um, to their own bank account. And there's not really something that's fully appropriate in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this one here, this spent money transaction for four and a half grand. And we'll just pretend that the owner's bank uh, for their for their personal bank account, the name of the bank is called Smart Agency Bank or something like that. So if you're doing this in your business and you um, transfer some money out to say an ANZ personal bank account, this will come through saying ANZ with the amount. So we'll just pretend that this is the owner's bank, the smart agency. So it's come through here as four and a half thousand dollars that they've spent, but they haven't spent it on the business. They've spent it on themselves personally, or they've transferred it to their own personal bank account. So what we need to do is come over here to the create tab and we need to create a spend money transaction. So for who we'll just put the name of the business owner in. So for this exercise, I'll just pretend that's me like so. And then for the what, we need to go and find the owner drawings account, which should be down here in liabilities. So owner A drawings. And then we just need to pop in a description. Okay, so I've just put in transfer of funds to the owner just for something simple. So we can leave it at that and we can click on okay to reconcile it, but I'll just quickly show you if you click on add details. If you need to add some more details in here, like a reference number or attach a file, you can upload a file there. Or if you wanted to split this out into separate lines for some reason, you can make this a, a multi-line uh, transaction, but I just need the one line in there. And you do also have your little tax uh, selector over here, but we don't actually have GST on, on this anyway, which is why we've got BAS excluded as the tax rate, because withdrawing funds um, like this has no GST implication at all. So we can leave all that as is and just save the transaction and then click on reconcile. Okay. So that's reconciled now that's out of the bank feed. So I'll just show you a couple of things. If we go to the chart of accounts and liabilities, and we need to scroll right down. So this is the account that we used here, 880 owner drawings, and I'll just click on it just to show you how it's set up. So it's a current liability. Um, there's the name of it there. You can change the name if you like. And down here, BAS excluded as the tax code because there's no GST. 
And then down here, it's a good idea to have this checkbox uh, ticked to enable payments to this account. It's not something we used in this exercise, but you might need to use it um, if you're doing uh, different things in the owner drawings account. So if you need to set this, this up in your own business, then you can just copy off these settings here. All right, I'll just click on cancel and we'll go into the balance sheet and I'll run it as today's date. Okay, now let's go find the debit and credit side of the transaction we just did. So we'll go to the business bank account first. That's where the money came out of. And we'll just go down and find our transaction for four and a half thousand dollars, which is there. So there's four and a half grand to the owner to spend money transaction. That's the transaction we created on that date. And you can see here it's on the credit side. So if we click into it, it just gives us all the details of the spend money transaction that we created in the bank feed. Okay, so that's all good. That's the credit side. I'll just get back out of here. And we'll come right back to the balance sheet, come back down, and there you can see owner A drawings in the liability section, four and a half thousand. I'll just click into it. Okay, there we go, four and a half thousand on the debit side. So that's the debit side of the transaction and in the bank account was the credit side. Okay, so if you're going to withdraw money from your business bank account into your personal bank account, this is how you can go in and create a spend money transaction um, to reconcile it to the owner drawings account and your debits and credits should end up in the right place on your balance sheet.